except God. To him we give all the glory and praise. Blessed be his name forever. In Jesus most wonderful name we have given thanks. You will thank God specifically making you to see the first Sunday in the last month of the year. That you are alive to see the first Sunday. It's not by power, not by mind. Life is a gift. And when somebody gives you a gift, all you need to say is thank you. That he gave you life to see the first Sunday. Lift your voice from the top of your hand and tell God thank you. Lord, thank you for the gift of life. Making us to see the first Sunday. In the last month of the year. Open your mouth and give thanks from your heart. Thank him for the gift of life for the last Sunday. Go ahead and talk to God in the name of Jesus. That God made you to see the last Sunday. In the year 2023. Go ahead and tell God thank you. For the gift of life. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for giving us life. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus mighty name. Because you have thanked him, you will see many more years. Whether online in church, I decree you see many more years. You will not end this year in regrets. You say, crown it your year with his goodness and your part drop fatness. Psalm 65 verse 11. It's a prophetic service. Lord, this year must be crowned with your goodness. That was will be fulfilled in my life. Go ahead and declare the name of Jesus. You crown my year with your goodness and my power shall drop with fatness. Open your mouth, Lord, that word must be fulfilled in my life and the life of this commission, salvation ministries. Are you speaking to God in the name of Jesus? You crown my year with your goodness and my power shall drop with fatness. Talk to God this moment. Go ahead and talk to him. That you crown your year with his goodness and your power shall draw fatness. If you believe God's word, declare it with faith. Blessed be God forever. In the name of Jesus, your declaration shall become your own. God will confirm what you have declared in the name of Jesus. And you take delivery of what you have declared. In Jesus' mighty name. If you expected something good, let your amen be the loudest. Give Jesus a big hand. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Today's message is praise for fulfillment of prophecies. Praise for fulfillment of prophecies. I pray that you will have understanding as you are God's word. And God himself will breathe upon his world to produce in our own lives in the name of Jesus. God's word is a sure word of prophecy. When you hear prophecy, most times you think, what is it? Somebody talking to you. That's not all. God's word is the most authentic source of prophecy. In 2 Peter chapter 1, 19 to 21, it says, we have a more sure word. For we, we also we have also a more sure word of what? Where unto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shall in dark, dark place on the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private worth interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of men, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Shout hallelujah. So God's word, every word from here is a prophecy to you. Are you getting what God is saying? Every word written from Genesis to Revelation is what? Prophecy. The Bible is a book of prophecies for his own children. Prophecies are not psychological predictions, but they unfollow God's agenda for his children. They may not make sense to you, but they are bound to be fulfilled. All that is required on your own path is to believe the word of God. Is to believe the word of God. Until prophetic word is received, it cannot produce, it cannot be fulfilled. And whatever God has spoken is bound to be fulfilled. There's nothing God has said concerning you and I that you believe and then 
receive in your heart that will not be fulfilled. And today, whatever God has said concerning you will be fulfilled right now. Amen. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. In Second Chronicles chapter 6, verse 4, the Bible says, And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who had with his hands fulfilled that which he spoke, which he spake with his mouth to my father David, saying, He said, God himself will fulfill it. So we need to know how to provoke God to fulfill. Is that clear? He said, The fulfillment has to be by God. So you need to know to know how to make God fulfill what? His prophecy. And today, God will fulfill whatever He has said concerning you and I. Amen. Prophecies are from two sources A, the Word of God. From where we read in 2 Peter 1 19 to 21. He said, The word has gone out of my mouth, shall not return to me void. Isaiah 55, verse 11. 2 Peter 1 19 to 21. We don't need to read it again. We don't read it now. The God's word is the first source of what? Prophecy. B, God ordained prophets. God ordained what? And that source where prophecies come from, God ordained prophets. Prophets are divine messengers who receive from God to make his counsel known to his people. It said, believe the Lord your God, it shall be what? Believe his prophets, so shall he prosper. A genuine man or woman of God that speaks God's counsel and you believe, God confirms it. Are you getting what I'm saying here? He said that receive a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. Matthew 10 41 and then 2 Chronicles 20 verse 20b. And when God speaks, a man of God speak, God confirms it. But the receiving end matters a lot because God can say a thing if you don't receive it, God cannot perform it. A man of God can say something. And you don't believe it, it cannot be performed. So here. In first Kings 8, verse 15, it says, And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, we speak with his mouth unto David my father, and that with his hand fulfill it. Today go fulfill whatever he has said concerning you. Yeah. But yeah, this, you don't watch prophecies, you engage in warfare to take delivery of them. That God has said something does not mean you just watch it. You have to do something for it to be delivered. Is that clear? In 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 18, the Bible says, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. So it is good warfare that brings good welfare. If you don't watch them, you have to do something. You have to do what? And that's what we're about to do today. That when it is done, whatever God has said concerning you will be fulfilled right now. Yeah. That amen is not, not strong. Yeah. God has said to you, be the head. Don't fold your hands and say, I'll be the head. God has said, you get married. Don't fold your hands to just think you get married. You do something to make that thing come to pass. You shall lend to nations. Don't fold your hands. Make sure you wear it out so you can learn to nations. I'll be exempted from poverty. Make sure you do something. Is that clear, sir? And that prophecy will be fulfilled. I pray whatever God has said to you and I, from Genesis to Revelation, that you believe will be fulfilled right now. Yeah. How to see prophecies fulfilled? How to see prophecies what? Fulfilled. How to see prophecies fulfilled, number one. Receive the prophetic word. Receive what? Receive it. Every word is a spiritual seed. And until it is received in your heart, it cannot bear fruits. Now, Jesus told about the parable of the sower in Luke chapter 8. He said... The seed is the word. Luke 8, 11. Is that true? He said, the, the seed is what? The word of God. And he said, that word of God must fall on a fertile heart. Verse 15. So if God's word is declared, 
and then the heart is not properly positioned. I've been hearing all these things every year. It will not produce. Are you going to go and say now? But your heart has to receive it. Say, no, this word is for me. You have to testify in the same church. I heard word shared. And then in the same church, we were in service. And you not know happen. Why? Two of you are not the same level. One received it. One did not what? Receive it. So it's not enough to hear it. Go prosper. So I said, all he said is go prosper. Is that one? Go prosper. I'll be hearing go prosper. What has happened? Your heart is not prepared to say that. But someone is say, no, this word is for me. I must prosper. Boop. This begin to happen. It will happen in your favor. Amen. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. He said, I have planted. Apollos what God gave what? The increase. First Corinthians 3 verse 6 and 2 Peter 1 19. You read them. Only a prophetic word you receive can come to pass in your life. As many as received him to them gave he power to become the source of God. John 1 12. Who is him? The word of God. So as many as receive the word of God, then he empowers them to become what they receive. Is that true, sir? Glory to God. You can never experience what you have not received. I pray you receive God's word. Amen. Say, I will receive God's word. Receive. Lord, my heart be circumcised to receive the word of God. So everything said to you this year and beyond, sorry, this year and the past, all of that, even the ones that are coming, your heart has to be open to do what? To receive them. So it's not enough. The year 2000, we went to see Bishop Edipo, my um, our father in the Lord, and my wife and I went to see him. That time, that time, hey, boy, 500,000. Well, like, it's like me showing 500 million now. 500,000. You understand the level? It's like me giving 500 what? Million. That was our biggest offering. 500,000. 2,000. 500,000. It's like the only cup of the church. This church was seen. And we knelt down. It's not the money, it's the heart. The prophet you don't honor, even if he speaks tonight, tomorrow, it won't work. You know why some of you are not receiving? You don't even honor the people who speak to your life. You don't mind that man, self. Even in my heart, I don't dishonor him. You know, honor is of the heart. Are you going to have said that? I don't even, in my heart, I, I make sure I guide my heart. Don't think things that will make me offended has not happened. It has happened plenty of times. But I refuse to be dishonor him in my eye. You know, honor is of the heart. I, I know the man, what did, what did he be? That's why not has happened. Be very careful when you are around men who have carried grace. Are you getting me now? And he said, kneel down. Put his hand like this. He said, now, behead. Your doors, who are your pairs, they will serve you. You will rule over them. He began to speak. Boy, bah, bah, bah. Those overtook everybody. This day, everything God has said concerning you, not what will fail in your life. I declare over you in the name of Jesus that whatever has been spoken from January to now speedily come to pass in your life. If you are the one expected to receive your amen with the loudest, this will be the last day you'll be at this level. Two, believe the prophetic word. Believe what? You can receive something. Second thing, you must believe what you are. Is that true? He said, blessed is she that what? Believe it. For there shall be a performance of those things which are told from the Lord. Luke 1, 45. And Romans 10, 10. For with the heart, man what? The man confession is made unto salvation. For with the heart, man believe it unto righteousness. And with the man confession is made unto salvation. I have to believe it. Then it will work. Whatever you believe, it will be difficult for you to declare. He said, we have in the same spirit of faith. So Corinthians 4 verse 13. Therefore we believe and therefore what? We speak. So one, receive. Two, what? Believe. Are you hearing me now? Glory to God. Then number three, engage in heartfelt praise. Engage in what? To steer God for performance. To steer up God for what? Performance. Now that I have received and I believe. What do I do next? I praise God. Is that clear, sir? I cannot just say I believe. I receive. I believe, and I keep quiet. I don't praise God. That things will begin to happen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah! So praise 
is one of the instruments for enforcing prophecies. For enforcing, it's a spiritual weapon we use to trigger God's blessing upon our lives. Now, God's word, from what we have said, is an incorruptible word. So, First Peter one to the three. God's word cannot be corrupted. Cannot be corrupted. And we know that the seed is the word of God. So, the seed of the word has gone forth. Has gone forth. The word of God has gone forth. So, what we do, we use praise to make sure that seed has gone forth is mature. This what? To produce harvest. Is that correct? We are watering it with praise for the seed to do what? Produce harvest. And today, the seed will produce harvest in your life. Yeah. God's word is the seed. They speak it, you collect it, or you read it, you collect it, you receive, believe it. Now, you are praising God. Praising is like pouring water on the seed when you plant. Even if you plant seed and there's no water, what will happen? It will die. So, without praise, the prophetic word cannot produce. I don't understand what I'm saying here. Glory to God. So, it is praise that turns the seed of prophecy into harvest. You know what? You can't get harvest without praise. Let me explain to you. Psalm 67, 5 to 7. You understand it clearly there. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let how many? Not some of us, all of us. Then shall the earth yield what? So that you that they, you have poor seed, you have spoken. Everything that will make life comfortable is from the earth. Took a sci- take time to look at take a scientific scientific studies. There's nothing that makes life comfortable that is not the product of the earth. The dress you're wearing, it's from the earth. The aircraft, brought from the earth. The food you eat, from the earth. The money, from the earth. Everything. So whatever in your life that will multiply needs praise. This what? Praise. praise. The air you breathe is from where? Do you get air from somewhere else? It's from the earth. So any so then the air shall you do what? And God, even our God, shall what? So you will not be blessed without praise. God shall and all the earth shall fear. You become a wow after the praise. You know, that's the way God bless you. You become a what? That means you become a surprise to your world. And you'll be the next surprise to your world. You'll be the next surprise to your world. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. So praise converts the written and prophetic word into reality. Into what? Reality. Yes, what is written will not become a reality until praise is done. He said, in God will I praise his word. Psalm 56 verse 10. In the Lord will I praise what? His word. Psalm 56 verse 10. In God will I praise what? In the Lord will I praise what? His word. So the word of God, now let me, let me explain to you now. God's word says, be blessed. That's the word. Is that true? Now I am praising him for be blessed to become what? A reality. Are you getting me, sir? Look, by stripes. I praise him for by stripes to become what? A reality. Are you getting what I'm going to say here? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. What is praise? So you don't just think that. Praise is adoring and celebrating God for who he is. This worth. When you praise, you create an atmosphere for God to fulfill what he has said. Are you getting me now? I'm going to show you a typical example from the Bible. So you understand what we're talking about. The man Abraham. God said to him, it shall be a father of many that was what was spoken to Abraham. Is that clear? Now, Abraham needed to create an atmosphere for that scripture to be fulfilled. Do you understand me, sir? I mean, understand what I'm saying. Now, in Romans chapter 4, 17 to 20, he said, As it is written, do you understand that's the word of God? I have made thee a father of what? This is the word of God. Before him whom he believed. Do you understand? Before whom he what? See, we're believing. Even God will quicken the dead and call it those who be not as old they were. Who against hope believe what? That he might become the father of many nations. According to that which was spoken, so shall I see me. God has said it, which is the word of 
God. And being not weak in faith, he, he stood on the integrity of what? Faith. God, you said so. I don't doubt it, no matter what is happening. He's concerned his own body now dead. So you don't consider contradicting circumstances. Just stand on the integrity of the word. That God, you said so, no matter what is happening, it must come to pass. When he was about 100 years old, the dead nurse said that swoop. Now look at verse 20. All of us, let's do it together. It, let's do it together. One to go. A staggered north at the promise of God. Through what? But what? Giving what? Glory to God is praise. Glory to God is what? So don't allow it to shake you. The last step to your miracle, to your giving back to your Isaac, is praise. Abraham did everything, but if praise was not there, Isaac wouldn't have been born. I mean, understand it. You have done everything, you have fasted, you have prayed, you have faith, now co co cover it, close it with what? Praise. Then the two become a reality. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Abraham against all odds, believe God and praise. Without praise, most prophetic words cannot be fulfilled. Because the hand of God cannot be stirred to make it come to pass. So here, you want to provoke the hand of God? Tell your neighbor, praise God. Praise God. Tell yourself, I will praise God. Will. Say it one more time. Say it like a child of God. Say it and mean it. Isaiah 14, 24. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely, as I have taught, so shall it come to pass. And as I purpose, so shall he stand. Has God said something? It will come to pass. Amen. So engage in the potency of praise. In the prophetic word must be fulfilled in your life. Let me give you another example before we'll be done in a few minutes. In Second Chronicle chapter 20, if you get home, read 1 to 24. But we're not going to read all that. Nations came against Jehoshaphat, Judah. Three nations, three what? And God, prophets from his word said, you will not need to fight in this battle. Look at verse 17. Second Chronicles 20. You shall not need to what? Set yourself and see the salvation of the Lord. Now, if God has told you, look, you prosper. Things will get better. I think you just keep quiet there. That's why many miss it. God told them they will not need to what? Fight. That was God's word to them. But that word was not fulfilled until 22 took place. Listen carefully. <laughs> God has said, look at your life. Has God said so many things to you this year? Past years? They will not be fulfilled though until you do this part. He told them you don't need to fight. This battle, you will not need to fight. They would have just said, okay. God said, we will not need to fight. That's what he said. God told me that I'm going to make it this year. This year is my year of supernatural favor. But you have not enjoyed favor. Why? You are just standing without the last. Now. If you write a sentence, I don't pull full stop. What is the meaning? Huh? Huh? The full stop is the place. No full stop. Continue your journey. <laughs> Are you ready now? So, God told them, you will not need to what? Fight. But the last thing that they need to do to move the hand of God, look at verse 2. And when they began to sink, and to what? Then the Lord set ambushment. So God wouldn't have set ambushment if they did not praise. He told them you don't need to fight. That's the prophecy. Are you understand the prophecy? President, you don't need to fight. But they had to steer God to fulfill that prophecy in verse 22. God told you many things. They are not lying. Now steer him to fulfill that thing he said to you. Are you getting it clear? Yes. Glory to God. Say so this year, as I praise God, Everything God has said to me, not one will fail. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. He said, When they began to sing and to pray, Lord said, Now, these were the people who God said they would not need to fight, but they needed to do what? Praise. For that prophecy to be fulfilled. So, here. Are you getting it clear? Yes. What God said to you is not a lie, but no praise. No what? 
Okay, let me come again. Bring it back home. God said to us, he will build the church. Did he say so? The cathedral. What did we do for it to be fulfilled? We went there to praise. He said to us, he's going to build that. Look. If you know what has gone in there. Eh? So, three pillars of that church is enough to build cathedrals. One pillar. One equated chief went there. A traditional ruler. He looked at, he went underground. We have a basement underground. Many of you don't know in that cathedral. That's a, the wing five has a strong basement. Like this present hall. I think bigger than this hall. Bigger than this present hall. The whole is basement. Most of the time you go, you just stay up. Down. That's where communal stewards and other things will take place. When they want to wash, it's basement. I, I don't think 90% or 90% of you members here have not gone underground. I don't think it's up to one person have gone. It's a basement. Down. Massive, long basement. So he entered the basement and saw the big, big pillars. He said, it's molar rail. He said, yeah, it's molar rail. So we don't laugh over it. Are you answer that? But before that could be done, what would you do? Praise. That's why we have not borrowed. If not, that project is not for many people to borrow. But we didn't borrow because we went there to do what? Praise. This, he told us he will build it, but we needed to move. In fact, if I tell you, you'll be shocked. When he told me to go and do praise, I have not understood the Bible like this. Let me pull up to you with all humility. God just told me, go and praise God, I'll build it. I didn't understand the Bible. Do I? I did it before I understand. I understood what I'm saying now. Do you, do you understand me? There's something God will just help you do. So you don't take the glory. He just sort of go and do seven, seven hours. I didn't even understand the, what I'm teaching now. I understood it better now than that time. Are you getting me now? I'll be deceiving myself if I say I understood it better. It's a lie. I just, we went to praise now. And I said, okay, this is the reason. So his hand can what? Fulfill it. You know, sometimes God will tell you to do something. You don't even know. It's later as your study. It's okay. This is the reason. Are you getting me? If I say I know everything, then I'll be lying on the altar. And God will not bless him. I will lie. Don't ever lie, you. So I feel you lie anyhow. He said, God spoke to me. I didn't know anything then. I don't, all I knew was we did seven hours. Praise. And is God building it? Yes. The tears alone is seven for something million dollars. That is close to eight billion for tears alone. Eight billion has not built. Did anybody put you under pressure here? Are you under pressure? Okay. Cheer, no sound. Is, are you under pressure? Okay, how much did you give? Check your tight since this year started. Calculate your tight since this year started. Calculate your tight, your own tight. In name of calculate all. Sorry, since you became a member of this church, calculate your tight. <laughs> when God speaks, He speaks at His own capacity to perform. Your own is to praise. Your own is to what? Stop asking God. How are you doing? <laughs> I don't know how to go. Leave him to do what he said he will do. Abraham staggered not at the promise of God. Stop analyzing things of God. Just believe the word of God. Give God praise and God will do what he will do. And he will do it today in your life. Yeah. Shout a better amen. Yeah. Please. I even till now I don't understand. This church is not under any pressure. But you know, we, we just depend on God. Though. It's God though. It's God. Even if you depend on government, when they give you the first two billion, they'll say, oh boy, now you're you, even the government. I will give you. No mortal man can build that place, oh, except God. I, now, we are building there, we are still building churches. Don't think that we stop. You saw every state you see churches being built. True? This church is still building churches. True? We are still buying projects. It has not stopped. That we are building cathedral, God is building cathedral, does not mean that projects have stopped. This church is still building. I hope you know. Okay. University would have started without stress. It's just because the cathedral are kept quiet. So you will not shout. Cinema of Africa, I don't decide university. You know, so will shout. So I said, well, let's do quick, quick, quick. I feel this so we can start university. University land is, is bigger than this. So it's one that's something hectares. It's uh, 
bigger than Bolo Ogu put together. <laughs> put the whole of Ogu, put the whole of Bolo, put all that villages around there. <laughs> that village be that place bigger. You want to know where Ogu Bolo is? Go and find a local government. Put the whole of Ogu plus LA, all the Leme, Leme town of Bolo, put all together. Yele, all bigger. It's bigger than that. Are you going to say that? When we bought that place, we didn't raise offering. We never raised. The church not raised offering to buy the university land. And we bought it in beefy girls. Nobody in church was, we say, raise offering. No. University would have been built. It's easier to build university than to build cathedral. University is a state building now. No problem there. Once we are done with cathedral, farm, we are trying to make sure God help us. So next year, our children can go to university. Man. I know if we start university, you know, with our kind of class, it will be a world class. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. If Okuma is the best Sunday school, you know, university, they will be coming from abroad to school here. Yeah. Because whatever this church does, we believe in excellence. We believe in what? Hope you are aware that we have foreign students born, born, groom from outside Nigeria. We're in Okuma. Children, we are not. That is, they were not born in Nigeria. They were born in the United Kingdom, born outside Nigeria. Never lived in Nigeria. Their parents brought them to school. Because values are in Okuma. We are not the most perfect, but we are the best. We are not the one, but we are, in a perfect society, we are the best. Best anywhere. If it's best in Nigeria, you don't know it's best even in America. Because values are no more in America. Schools don't have values. You don't know? There are, church, there are schools in America, public schools, you can't say Jesus. Tell it, no. They don't do money prayer. I hope you know, they don't do devotion. No devotion in public schools. When you are small, you used to do devotion in your schools. No, if, no, most of the Western world, no more devotion. No. Just come to school, they say it's free, freedom of uh, worship. So children don't even know how to pray. You must pray in Okuma. And you must pray in the name of Jesus. <laughs> there's a core Muslim in Okuma. Are you aware of that? The man came, a core Muslim. He said, I want my daughter to be in this school. We said, is a Christian school? He said, yes. He said, but this is the school I want my daughter. I, she, I'm a Muslim, but I, this, from here she'll get good character. Core Muslim. Everybody knows what is good. Nobody wants to train a child in a bad environment. The, the, the girl is there. The day they showed me, she said, see the girl here. I said, are you enjoying the school? He said, yes, sir. <laughs> Papa, I'm enjoying the school. <laughs> Amen. Well, all I'm saying is, what made it happen? Praise. What made it happen? Praise. God said it, we praise him, and that is what has happened. As you praise God today, God will make this happen in your life. Amen. Let's close with two. Psalm 34, verse 1. I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Don't wait for church alone. In your home, also do what? Praise. Make praise a lifestyle. Psalm 24 verse 1. He said, by him, therefore, Hebrews 13 verse 15, the last scripture, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Are you blessed today? Yes. You know what to do now? Rise to your feet. Shout Hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. Number one, we are our focus for salvation ministries, fulfillment of prophecies. Fulfillment of what? Prophecy. On the theme of this year, supernatural favor. For global dominion, both life and online. Both life and what? That every prophecy must be fulfilled. Supernatural favor must be fulfilled before this year is over. Are you getting me? Then you. The theme of the year, supernatural favor, answers to you and your loved ones the many days of this year. Lord, this year has been declared as your word, supernatural favor. It must answer to me. Is that clear? Even if a minister watching online, pray it the same way. Lord, let, in addition to what I did starting, you want to add, you add it. Is that clear? Lord, the scripture of supernatural favor must be fulfilled in my life. And any other thing you know, you know your own personal request. Is that true? Lord, everything said to me, focus on something, you know. Don't just dance. Are you hearing me now? Focus on a scripture. Lord, this scripture must be fulfilled in my life. If you don't have scriptures, my natural favor is the theme of the year. Lord, make sure it is fulfilled in my own life. Is that clear, sir? Glory. He said, the hand of God will do what? We make it happen. We are going to praise God for 
Nine minutes. How many minutes? Nine, ten minutes. All churches, praise God. Don't just dance. Dance with the target. Dance with the what? Lord, prophetic word declared in my direction must be fulfilled. In many days of this year. Go ahead. All churches, use your own instruments and praise God. Make sure you take for salvation ministries first, then take for your own self and your company and business, everything. Let's go, all churches.
You are going to prophetically declare with your mouth. Now that you have praised God, Lord, I have given you the last step. I have praised you. Let this area of my life, this area of this place, this particular item be fulfilled according to your word. Let your hand now make it happen. Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Give expression to what you have done by saying it and declaring it with your mouth. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' most wonderful name. Every word you have declared in line with his word is not a reality in your life. Before the year is over, you see all fulfilled. By this praise, God has done it. And Jesus, give him thanks if you believe it. Tell him thank you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. If you are in this service and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, Scripture cannot be fulfilled. It's as many as received him to them gave you power to become. You cannot become anything in the kingdom of God until you have received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. That means you must be born again. He said, was born again? Then pray this prayer after me. Join the people who pray this prayer. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I have come to you I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose to save me. With my mouth, I declare you my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name.